four. Hi everybody, uh, Gordon Darcy here again. Uh, I'm going to do some nature art with you this morning. And we're going to be looking at two birds, um, two famous birds in fact, that are found in our rivers, the kingfisher and the dipper. Uh, very different birds and even though you don't see them very often, if you go looking for them, you will find them. Um, the kingfisher likes slow moving big rivers and the dipper likes fast moving streams and smaller rivers. So let's start with our ovals as we've done before. I'm going to put one of the ovals up here and that's going to become the kingfisher. And there's the other oval for its head. You can see I've made quite a big oval here for its head. It's got a big head. Uh, and down here, roughly the same size oval, and we'll put the head down there. So this is going to be the kingfisher, this is going to be the dipper. So let me just show you how we'll develop these into the birds. Uh, the kingfisher's got a great big beak like that, uh, like a closed pair of scissors. There it's eye, white spot above the eye like that to make it look alive. And then we'll go around and we'll pick up on the shape of it. There we go. I'm just going outside the line there a little bit. But you see the proportions, very big head, big beak, and a relatively small body. Uh, one of the wings there, one of the wings there, and a short tail, like that. So we'll bring his shoulder of his wing up like that, and there you can see the whole extent. That's, he's showing a little bit of his back, that's why I've got that V there. Now, we'll put it standing on a branch here. There are two, three toes in front, but you only see uh, a, a little bit of one and the big toe at the back then. I'll put it on a branch like this. So we can see some buds in the branch there like that. No, how about that? That's our kingfisher. So let's do the dipper then. Completely different beak. Chisel shaped beak like that. Roundy head. There's the white spot above his eye. Very alert looking. And I'm just going to go outside the line again to give him his fat tummy. He's quite a dumpy bird. Down here like that. And then the tail's often cocked up like, like a wren's tail. Uh, there's the wing down by his side. Now, there we are. There's the profile if you like. So let's put him on a stone because that's where you'd find him. One, two, three toes. Very big claws. I'll tell you about those in a minute. That's one of his feet. Put the other one down here like this. Thin leg like that. One, two, three toes in front and one behind. There are the big claws again. Uh, big feet for such a small bird. Put him standing on a stone in the river like that. Good. So now we have the outlines done. So what about the pattern on the bird? Well, we'll start with the kingfisher. He's got a big white patch there on the side of his head and then an orangey patch inside it. It's there. So we'll bring that up like that. And then he's orange down here and white under his chin. The dipper on the other hand, there's his face there. He's got a great big white bib like that underneath. So there we have the kind of outlines of our birds. Uh, their names in Irish, of course, are, are interesting. This is Crigine, the kingfisher, and Gawa Dove, uh, the dipper. And it's nice to know the Irish names and to keep them uh, in the forefront. So let's put some colour here on the kingfisher. Now you're not going to believe these colours. It looks like a bird that's escaped from a, an aviary or a zoo or been brought over from the Amazon jungle. It's got a beautiful turquoisey blue patch right down the middle of its back like that. Right down there. And that's what you see when it flies past. And then deeper blue up on top of its head. Up there. there we go. I'll just put this on heavily like that so as you can see it. There we go. And running down into that blue. And some of that blue on the shoulder as well down here. It's like a cobalt blue, a deep, deep blue. 
So I'll put a little bit of sky blue around here as well, just to give it a bit of body. A lighter blue like that. Oh yeah, that's it now. So let's get the dark green on his wings, for example now. It's kind of a, it's more of a dark turquoise than a green. Yeah, let's go over here. I'll just show you this. Yeah, that's it. On the wing here. Nice and dark like that. A bit of weight to it. Crayons are great because you can cover the page very quickly like that. Down there onto the other wing and then onto his tail. A little bit of that dark colour. Deep, deep green. Sea green almost. Now we're getting the colour on him. So, orange here in round his eye. Just in there like that. And right down the front of his tummy. Orange like that. Now, those great colours. He has a bit of white here on the side of his head. I'll try and emphasise that with this crayon. Although the page is white, so you don't need to look at that. You don't need to do that too much. I've left out a little blue patch that comes here across here and separates the white cheek from the chin. And then some little marks like that on the top of his head. That's him. So what else have we got to do? A bit of red on the beak. That's actually only on the female's beak and red on his, deep red, blood red really, on his feet. Okay, how about doing some of this, uh, where are we now? Yeah, some of this dark grey for the beak. There we go. It's leaving a little bit of white to show it's shiny there. Now, colour of the branch, well, we could put that any colour we like. I'm tempted to go with this kind of olivey brown colour. Like that. That could be an alder, a piece of an alder overhanging the river. There we go. Oh yeah, that's the king of issue, okay. That's the king of issue. Beautiful bird. Uh, let's give him some speckles on the side of his wings then, just here. And just get a bit of weight into these, yeah. These crayons. You see the feathers standing out a little bit more than I've shown them. And you can see that very light colour right down the back of the middle of his back. That's what you see when he flies past. Okay, so what about the dipper? Now in contrast, well we'll give him his white bib first of all, so as you can see what that is down here. All white like that. In contrast to the kingfisher, the dipper is a dowdy bird. That means it's a, a bird without any real brightness to it. But it has a lot of character to make up for that. Uh, it's brown really, deep deep brown on its back like this. Let's get that brown in there quickly like that. So as you can see the general coloration that it has. Brown, 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 all the way down here and onto the cocked up tail. Brown like that. That's it. Darker on the cheeks, of course. In there. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, what uh, colour we make the legs? Uh, dark grey. Dark grey legs like this. There we go. Dark grey like that. Just going over with the crayon to highlight them like that. Really, you should do that in one sweep with the crayon thick enough. And with your chublets, you'd be able to do that. I just have to go over and over it a few times to get it to come up. There we go. Now, put a little bit of that colour on the beak as well. Yeah, that's our dipper. Now, uh, we have to put some orangey colour, deep, deep orangey, rusty colour really, down here. There's a band of that colour just there. It goes right under his tummy. Rust, rust, rust like that. And then very dark brown or nearly black under here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so there's our two birds. Now, let's put a bit of uh, colour on the rock here. There might be a bit of weed just being pushed round by the, the moving water like that. That green weed and the 
the rest of the rock's going to be very dark, dark brown like this. Something like that. We'll put a bit of shadow in there. Shadow in there like that on the rock. Yeah. It just gives you a nice 3D effect then. And uh, how about some water moving? Well, you can do that. Just put a few ripples around like this. There's the water going around a stone, like that. Because it's standing in the stream, it's standing in the middle of the stream. And in the background, for the kingfisher, you might have a little bit of... Let's see, what colour would we have for the, the river that's moving slowly? Hmm. Let's put a bit of this colour down here. Well, it's not really very eye-catching though. Maybe a little bit of... Uh, this. Yeah, that'll do it better. So the water's moving underneath the kingfisher. He's looking down to see if he can catch a fish. Because that's what he's interested in. Kingfisher is a fish-eating bird. It sits on his twig like that and dives into the water. Right under the water to maybe two feet. Catches a little stickleback. Then back up to the, up to the branch. And it whacks it two or three times in the branch and then swallows it. And it makes its nest in the river bank it makes a hole in the river bank, uh, lays its eggs, white eggs at the bottom of the hole, maybe a meter into the bank, and raises the young kingfishers there. The dipper is a completely different way of living. It hops off a stone into the water, and with these great big feet, it holds on to the bottom of the, the stream and moves along, moving around, just grabbing those big stones and looking for the larvae of stoneflies, caddisflies, dragonflies, diving beetles. Um, water boatmen, all those different little creatures that live underneath the, the water in the stream. That's what he's interested in. Doesn't really eat fish. And then the last thing I want to just mention too about the, the dipper is it makes a beautiful dome-shaped nest, usually under a bridge with a hole in the side and raises its young there. So those are our two birds, the kingfisher and the dipper. Look out for those.